Hi guys, welcome to Comic Book Creature. I'm the Creature, Tom, and I'm going to have another movie and book haul for you today. Uh, I wanted to get these out of the way because I had accumulated a few and had not done any hauls about those. I will be getting back to comics very, very soon. I'm also going to be doing movie and book reviews, so just wanted to let you know that uh, after this, you're going to see a variety of material on the channel. But in any case, let's get right into it. Uh, I was able to pick up uh, three Blu-rays, I think, here, two or three Blu-rays, and uh, SSGB, I've seen this showcased on other channels. It's kind of a, looks like a spy thriller, which is sort of right up my alley from the BBC. And this is, I think, a nice uh, three, three disc set, maybe? Two or three disc set? Yeah, it's a three disc set. set. Okay, I also got um, Some Kind of Hate, which looks like a revenge flick to me. Some Kind of Hate. Uh, and I'm a sucker for anything prehistoric, the jungle, you guys know that. And so this is a documentary on Iceman Reborn. I'm not sure which one this is about, but I have a feeling it's about, um, yeah, Otzi, or Otzi, or Otzi, or however you say it. He's a, supposedly a 5,000 year old caveman that was found in the mountains. That ought to be interesting to watch. There's a story in my reading book for my kids, that's about that issue too. That's where I first heard of it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Justice League, Gods and Monsters, neat cover. Always after the comic book movies. Now I bought this again, sight unseen. I don't know what it is. Uh, it said the festival collection. It looks like it's something that might be from Canada. I don't know. It's called uh, the Paper Moon Affair. I bought it just for the title and because it has origami on the front. <laughs> but I got it for a dollar. So I'm not sure what it is. But uh, Then this is something that won't be any surprise. This is from Magnolia. This is Pulse. Pulse. Some creepy stuff on that cover going on. Picked up that copy of that. I like the cover. I'm not sure I can pronounce this right, but I am big into Asian cinema of all kind. I, I, kinds, I really enjoy it. And I think this is pronounced Marantu, maybe. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. I have no idea. But I picked that up. Looks pretty cool. Might be action packed. Okay, I also picked up The Gate and the Ghost. Just look at that cover. That just screams, watch me. Magnificent, cool stuff. Show a little bit of the back there. I love the architecture in these films uh, and the costuming. It's just, it's just fantastic. I've always been a huge fan of it. Um, then this one has a great title. A Woman, a Gun, and a Noodle Shop. A Woman, a Gun, and a Noodle Shop. Right. Uh, this one is interesting. It's also, I think, Asian cinema, and I had never heard of it before, and so I will abbreviate the title a little bit. This girl is Bad Butt. And don't laugh at me. I try not to swear or use unsavory words. There's the back of that one. <laughs> uh, Demon Warriors. Demon Warriors. I think this one is produced from uh, by the same people that did the Protector and Ong Bank. My wife's a big Protector fan. She watched the whole the whole whole mess of that. Then I was able to grab something that I kind of personally have a real thing for. I like zombies. I like vampires. Uh, things like that. And this is the the, the Thompsons. It says um, Twilight. No, meets Tarantino. Yes, so I don't know what kind of mess this is. So I'm interested to see what that might be. <coughs> Excuse me, got a little sinus trouble. Then um, the Thompsons, Les Thompson. I think this is different. I'm not sure. 
but I got it because it is clearly a vampire film with a very graphic cover. And there's the back of that one. I'm going to have to watch both to see if there's differences. I haven't really done a lot of research on it. I don't, I don't know that one. I'm unfamiliar with that film. Uh, here is The Summoning. Interesting cover. Every time I pick it up, I think I have it wrong. I think I'm supposed to hold it like this. And this is just creepy. There's something about masks like this that creep me out. Uh, this is called The City of Dead Men. City of Dead Men. Kind of reminds me of like um, the imagery in The Citadel. That's weird. It's a, it's a strange film if you haven't encountered that one. And then this is a movie called The Gallows, or Gallows. I like the, the minimalist cover. It's pretty interesting. Not sure what it's about, but I'll find out at some point. And I'm always a sucker for a, a movie like this. I can't, I can't pass it up. Storage 24. It's clearly a creature feature. It's got something horrifying, probably in a storage container in a warehouse. <laughs> Looking really forward to that one. And then the movie... Big Bad Wolves. Big Bad Wolves. Now, I am not sure that this is a werewolf film. It might be. The reason it makes me think it is, is, or at least it might be based on that kind of idea. As you see the Big Bad Wolves here, but you see the forest, and does this not make you think of Little, little Red Riding Hood walking through the forest? Maybe I'm reading into it and shouldn't be, but I don't know what this is. And I just picked it up, and it's from Magnet, and I generally like a lot of stuff Magnet puts out. So, there you go. Okay, then I wanted to show you a, uh, a another a Blu-ray, which I've had for some time, and then I'm going to explain why I'm showing it to you. This is my, my special set for Avatar. It is um, the Collector's Edition set. It's truly a beautiful set, too. It's got some fantastic artwork on that. Just love the cover, the nice hard case. And it's hard to get the, the movie out of that case is really the only drawback. I should, probably should have slipped that out. But anyway, the movie's there and it has three different versions, I think, of it. It's, a, it's got extra footage. I think it has the version that they removed the cursing from, which is a great idea for people that are family conscious. I wish every movie would come with a disc. It's like, hey, this one's family friendly. Uh, if it's at all possible, that's kind of neat. So I, you know, a lot of people don't like this movie and I, I, I respect that, I understand. I really enjoyed it because it kind of uh, sums up everything that I enjoy about film innovation with the new 3D, it was beautiful to see. It was gorgeous, it was an alien world with aliens. There was like interaction between aliens and beasts and all of these different things. And then it was kind of a super, super boy fantasy where he is able to become something larger than himself. Now, people have called it Pocahontas in space and they said it rips off everything, but folks, honestly, everything rips off everything. If you've not seen Avatar, it used to be the highest grossing film of all time. It was uh, has a special place in my heart because it unseated Titanic, which I am not a fan of, <laughs> even though it's the same director. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, but the reason I showed you that film was to show you what I have next. You know, as I said, some people have said that that movie, that Avatar, rips off um, various things. It's kind of Dances with Wolves, it's kind of Pocahontas in Space, uh, it's a lot of things. But I will tell you where I believe the true influence came from. And this comes from a set of books that I want to show you by Lynn Carter. Okay, I'm going to show you this entire series. This is the Green Star series. This is very old, and I was so fortunate to find some beautiful copies of this book, of these books. This is from the Daw editions. That's under the Green Star. Okay, and inside it gives you some really neat artwork. In a way back in the 70s, I believe is when this uh, this book came out. 1972. I was two years old. So this thing is beautiful to have made it that far. Here's the second in the series. When the Green Star Calls. 
Just look at that vintage artwork, just beautiful. Um, again, the pages have yellowed a little bit, but they give you some artwork on the inside. Try to show you a little bit without bending it up. I'm kind of a freak about my books, so I'm really careful with them. Uh, then, the third one, By the Light of the Green Star. So get it there. Okay. Once again, you have some pretty cool artwork on the inside. And then as the green star rises, I love this cover. It's just incredible. Now, don't you look at that cover really close. Look at it. See the flying thing? Okay. And then on the inside there, you have some more period art. It's really neat. And then the last volume, and I was, I was so fortunate to find all of these, and all of them are just gorgeous. I mean, the spines are tight. They're, they're beautiful. This one is in the green stars glow. Okay, another vintage cover. I love the purple. It's just neat, the whole thing, to see something like that, especially in this beautiful shape. And in here we have another vintage piece of art on the inside. Okay. Now, as happy as I was to find those, one of the main reasons, you know, I, I unashamedly tell you I am an Avatar fan. A lot of people don't like it, but I love it. This film, I believe, was heavily influenced by these books. The reason is, is because in this story, there is a person who is, he's, he's injured and he has like a crippling injury. And he is able to soul project into another body uh, on a planet that's around this green star that's far, far away. And he has to interact with some alien people, and there's a lot of the same kind of themes. Now, it's not, of course, exactly at all. But I, I honestly would love, if I could ask James Cameron a question about Avatar, it would probably be, did this book series influence this movie? And I think it did. What do you think? Let me know if you know anything about that in the comment section. There's so many similarities, it kind of is a little bit freaky. And this is, Avatar is like a new take on this type of story. And I am a big fan of Lynn Carter because Carter was involved in a lot of things that you all know that I love. And I just think uh, I've been trying to track down a lot of these books and to find them in this kind of shape, uh, what a celebration that was. For as cheap as I got them, is incredible. So, I hope you've enjoyed the movie haul. If there's a particular film that you particularly would like to see reviewed, please leave me that information in the comment section, and I'll try to get to that one earlier than the others. Uh, I realize that I want to grow my subscriber base. I appreciate it if you would hit the like, and if you would subscribe if you've not, I would really appreciate that. I would like to get more subscribers. I've been hanging right where I am for a very long time now. Uh, you can also check me out on... Uh, Instagram. I post pictures of things that don't necessarily show up in my videos all the time. Uh, I do have a Twitter account that I just kind of link with my Instagram account. So I'm not as active there as I am on Instagram. So please uh, check that out. The information for that is down in the comment section here. Uh, I also write a weekly, not recently, but I also write a weekly column for serial at midnight.com. Uh, I haven't done that because I've been off work because of the coronavirus. Well, I hope I hope this was entertaining for you. Uh, I know a lot of us are stuck at home, and um, I'm starting to do a lot of working from home. I'm a school teacher now, and we're getting our e-learning set up, and it's kind of exciting uh, and a little bit different, so we're doing the best that we can. I hope to produce and put out a lot more videos over the course of this quarantine that everybody's in. Guys, do the social distancing. Please stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. See you next time.